Okay, this is a quick tutorial on um, WordPress and Elementor. Um, I've been using it a little more lately because uh, I really don't feel like writing comment sections and um, pagination, and thankfully, it you know a lot of these themes take care of it. Um, this is the Ocean WP theme that I'm using because uh, there's a lot of uh, freedom with changing things. So anyway, one of the issues though is when I put in an image, I want it to be a clickable link, and if I use it with Elementor, it doesn't work. Um, you can't create a custom URL to it. And I've seen some workarounds. You could put a button on top of it um, or some, you know, another layer on top and some negative margin stuff. And they're nice workarounds, but you got to figure there has to be a better solution um, or an easier solution. So let's click Add New. So let's do another test page. And you know, it doesn't matter what it's called. So let's just call it a uh, clickable image. I'm going to dump this page when we're done anyway. So, so let's click Ele Edit with Elementor. And let's just put in, you know, a, a real quick, uh, let's not do, yeah, uh, let's just do a, let's not drag, let's just do something, let's do a, add a three column. And let's go ahead and add an image into this first one right here. So we'll drag an image and let's select it. We'll use my selfie. And notice when you use it with Ele um, Elementor over here on the right, you get these options and you get this alt text here. Now if you know HTML you can go ahead and insert um, a hyperlink uh, reference and that will create a link under the image but I want the image itself so when I to be a link so when I click on the image um, it'll take me to another website. So let's go ahead and insert my selfie real quick just to show you and let's publish this and let's have a look and when I click it, nothing. Okay, it doesn't take me to a website. And once again, if you put in an href um, in that alternate text, you would have um, a link right underneath. But I want to click the image and have it take me to a website. So let's go back here, and let's go ahead and delete this image. And what we're gonna do instead is let's scroll down, and underneath all your Elementor um, uh, widgets here, you've got the WordPress one still. So what you want to do is you want to drag a WordPress image into one of these um, placeholders there. And then we'll add image. And once again, let's go with the selfie. And over here on the right, you have the same options, but if you scroll down, you've got custom URL. And so let's just add www.amazon.com. We'll add it to our widget. So we're going to add my selfie to our widget. And let's update that. Move it over just a little bit. And now let's go back to our page here and let's refresh it. Control F5 just in case you didn't know it's refreshing it's refreshing it's refreshing and now let's click it and now it takes us to Amazon so that's uh, the easiest way that I found I'm sure there's probably an easier way um, but essentially don't use the Elementor um, image use the WordPress image uh, where is it this one right here and that'll give you a lot more options okay and that's eventually what I figured out as a solution hopefully it helps you and thanks for watching